What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and I'm very excited to announce that the Metal Complex and Kunwu Excalibur is officially available for pre-order on the KunwuCrew.com website, which I will link right down in the description. You guys can go and pre-order the version of this knife that you want. I'm going to walk through this with you guys real quick just to kind of explain, you know, what we're doing here initially and some other things to keep in mind for down the road. But essentially what we have here is the True Form Excalibur, the integral version in both right and left-handed options. Uh, and then you'll have, of course, your uh, satin version with the plain tie. You'll have the reverse tux version um, with the DLC blade and the titanium, the, the standard titanium. And then, of course, there is a DLC version, both in terms of the frame and the blade. I'm really, really happy that Kumu managed to get this knife down to the $400 um, that I, I said that we were going to do for the base model. So you are getting your Van Axe or 6061 Van Axe. Um, you're getting the um, the uh, Timascus um, on both sides of the frame. Um, everything that we wanted. I wanted to point out, of course, that a couple of the changes that I said were coming are not actually being showcased on the image here, including the housing for the stops. Um, when you pre-order this knife, the version that you get will have all of the updates that I said were going to be there, including uh, the new closed position stop, the housing uh, in the locked out position, even though again, it's not shown right here, um, the smooth spot underneath the pocket clip, all of that. Um, so I didn't want anybody to worry. Once he has the updated images of the completed models, um, I, I guess he's gonna you know, put them on the website, but um, just wanted to make sure everybody knew um, exactly what was going on. I'm really excited um, for this to take place. Like I said, the idea with this pre-order is to extend it for a very long time so that everybody who wants one can get one. Uh, we have no plans to limit this in any capacity. Um, as, as time goes on, um, there will be uh, additional sort of elements and things like that, um, including you know the versions that I talked about, like the uh, two-piece version. Um, that's something that is planned for down the road. Um, but uh, what we wanted to start with, because you know this this is the version of Excalibur that I had envisioned, the integral. Um, this is the one that we wanted to release first. And uh, many of you have noticed that you know the the pre-order had had gone live, and I had planned to do an official announcement. So many of you have found this, um, and I'm really happy that so many of you have gone ahead and pre-ordered, um, you know, your desired model. Um, but there are still plenty of uh, slots available uh, for you to get exactly the version that you want. I have to admit that the, um, the, uh, the version of this that has the, um, the, like the reverse tux is <laughs> super cool. Uh, I had some, uh, a couple of questions um, that I was looking through, you know, for people who had discovered this. And yeah, you, there's a little bit of a markup for the DLC, right? But even the most expensive version that we have right now uh, the full DLC is only $30 more than the standard version, which is something that I went over with you guys. Really huge shout, shout out to Kunwu um, and Sergio. Like he knew exactly how important that was to me to get it to that price point because that was the price point I kept saying. I said around $400, around $400. So getting that base version of the knife to $400 and then just $20 more for the DLC or $30 more for the full DLC, I'm really happy with, especially considering that um, it's in Vanax, which is an expensive blade material, right? It's an integral, which is far more expensive than a sandwich construction knife. And we have all of these Timascus pieces, which is, you know, just a, an absolutely spectacular uh, thing here. So um, really excited. Uh, there is a little bit, you know, if you remember my um, community post about what to do with branding and where to put this stuff, um, I did not want anything on the blade. I was very anti anything on the blade. Um, we had done a poll about which logo to use, either the Metal Complex logo or the Night Helmet logo. Um, and there were some votes and things like that. Um, most, well, not most, a lot of people had voiced their concerns about the branding being too loud, the contrast with the white and the black, especially how loud and out of place the Metal Complex logo looked on the knife. 
Um, but there were a good number of people who still wanted something metal complexy on the knife. And so I decided to kind of like meet in the middle and do something very, very subtle. You'll notice right here in the relief cut is a faint outline of the Knight Helmet logo, um, which many of you as channel members actually have as a badge beside your name. So I thought that that was probably the best way to do that. It's very, very subtle. Um, uh, it's something that people might not even notice without looking, and we kind of liked the idea of um, doing something like that. Uh, so yeah, that that is there. Um, let's see here. Uh, other things that we can talk about, the finish on the blade um, is you have a choice between either satin, which you're probably super duper familiar with if you have taken a look at uh, Kumun products in the past. And then also the DLC, which um, people kind of pointed out. I started to kind of talk about this and then stopped. But um, the DLC is not flat. The images are not showing the reflectivity. Um, but if you want to get a good look at exactly how that looks uh, in real life, you can check out my unboxing, my original unboxing of the Excalibur Prototype V3, which has a satin DLC. Very reflective, not a mirror polished, but very reflective. Um, so this is not like your typical chalky spider co DLC. It is a true DLC and it is nice and reflective. So you're not going to have any additional friction when cutting. Um, it's essentially going to be the same uh, experience as going with the satin version. Um, so I think, uh, I think people will be really, really happy with that. As promised, we do have left-handed versions. That was extremely important to me uh, because of how often I preach about the importance of accommodating for left-handed people. I'm, I'm still just shocked at how often this industry leaves out um, left-handed people completely and just doesn't give them the option to get what they want. So instead of offering a right-handed version of the knife, that had a spot for a left-handed clip, I thought, mm, let's do something that'll make everybody happy and do left-handed dedicated versions of the knife um, that uh, do not have a cutout, right? Because as much as I say, oh, you know, the cutout's not that big of a deal, you know, just to accommodate for left-handed people, the better thing is to give right-handed people everything they want, both in terms of, you know, ease of manipulation and aesthetics. Right? So right-handed people and left-handed people, you do not have to deal with a cutout or a filler tab on your knife. We can see here the left-handed version of the reverse tux version of the knife. Um, it has a uh, pocket clip that is mounted um, specifically for left-handed people. And there is nothing, I was, is this the, I'm trying to think about this. <laughs> this is, is this the right-handed version of the knife? <laughs> I'm looking at I'm looking at it backwards. Uh, this is lefty. I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, the left-handed version, of course, you have the nice, clean front side uh, or the show side. This was super duper important. Um, so uh, on the show side, you'll have because it is an integral, you'll have no visible hardware and the texture pattern all the way out to the edges. Um, and the only, really the only, you could, you could call it branding, I guess, is just the Kunwu specific logo, um, which is just their typical, it's not even the logo, it's just like a Kunwu, Kunwu uh, uh, you know, the typical uh, pivot that we normally see there. So I feel like this really came out nice, um, both on the right hand uh, side, or I'm sorry, both on the show side and the non-show side. Um, I also really like that on the show side, in typical Kunwu fashion, we have a wider pivot collar allowing the showcasing of the Timascus. Um, and then on the non-show side, we have a thinner pivot collar, um, which is probably mostly to accommodate for the fact that the cutout for the frame lock is so close to the pivot. I just thought that was a really, really classy way um, to do that. And that, you know, that's something that Kunwu had already done with a lot of their um, knives. Um, you know, in the past, so it wasn't really, um, you know, that big of a deal to change it, or I'm sorry, that big of a deal to leave it exactly the same way. As you can see here, um, this is the rendering for the uh, true final version, and it shows here that we have the housing for um, the uh, external stops, and this is really important, both in terms of aesthetics and just the way that this thing continues to impact the frame over time. You're having stops slam against the frame over and over and over. So having the curved cutout 
um, it acting as the landing zone for the stops. You have a little more, actually quite a bit more surface contact um, for those stop pins. And that will allow for the lock bar to lock up in, you know, essentially the same place for a, a massive period of time. The same reasoning behind, you know, a lot of the other, um, you know, famous models that we've all come to, uh, many of us have come to love, right? The, the inspiration, a lot of the inspiration behind this model, uh, specifically like the XM18, the Strider SNG, um, the uh, Chris Reeve Umnumzan, you'll all notice that those have external stops that um, you know is essentially impact or land against the frame and they all have those housing cutouts um, again something that uh, we talked about I don't know if he has an image he doesn't but um, I'll kind of use the mouse here uh, in the closed position it, it was on the versions that I had shown in the unboxing the stop was actually contacting the frame right about here and um, I didn't like that because I felt that that was a, a place that created um, much more of an eyesore for the impact spot. Not so much on the non-coated version of the knife, but on the DLC version of the knife. You would see that. And while there's, you know, there's nothing you can do about it, like where these connect with the frame out here, it's exactly the same. You know, it's not like a new thing. Um, if you look at your XM18 or your Strider, your your Chris Reeve Umnumzan, there's a little bit of a mark there where they land, but it's far less visible. It's a, in a place where you're just not really looking. You kind of, you know, the, that part of the frame is meant to lock the blade out. Um, it is not nearly as big of a deal, and it should be far less noticeable given that there's more surface contact with this curvature here. But in the closed position, I did not like that that was contacting there. So what we have done is created sort of a lump of additional titanium that is part of the integral frame and that allows for the blade to you know uh, in, in the closed position it stops before the thumb stud actually contacts the frame it sounds like such a teeny tiny silly little thing to nitpick but it was really important um, that uh, that was the case I, di I didn't want people to have to look at that little line um, it's also, that's something that is the case with the new Riot T1000 V2. I picked up one in DLC and noticed that they used the frame as the stop uh, in the closed position. And sure enough, my DLC one, which I love, I love that knife, but it has that little mark there and that just bothered me. So I know if it bothers me, it's going to bother some other people. So um, that was, that's the, the reasoning that we made that change. Uh, yes, on both the left-handed and right-handed versions um, we will have uh, the, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, the uh, the bald spot underneath the pocket clip. I know I'm re reiterating this, um, but uh, yeah, we're going to have the uh, bald spot under there. Uh, I know you guys have a ton of questions about different finishes, different texture, um, stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, what about the two-piece version? And what about the ultra-budget version? And what about... You know, are you doing a giga version? Are you doing like a super duper spectacular version? And the answer to all of those questions is yes, eventually. But um, as is something that um, I kind of talked about on the live stream, um, we can't do all of this at once. There are a lot of people who wanted to pre-order this and I am infinitely flattered, far more than I ever could have guessed. And I mean that sincerely. I think both Sergio and I were flabbergasted to see how many people wanted to pick this up um, and uh, doing everything all at once is simply not possible unless everybody wants to wait for like a year to get there so I mean like this is something the Excalibur knife will be something that continuously evolves over a very very long period of time um, and um, doing drops uh, that are specific to certain variations of Excalibur, um, you know, sort of one after another, I think is the right way uh, to do this. Uh, it, it, my goal is for every time, you know, every time we do this type of thing, we do a drop uh, to always have a right hand version and a left hand version. Um, but there will be, you know, like this, this is the drop for right now. And then in the future, we will do different things. What those things are and what order, I don't know yet. Um, but I wanted to start with the one that is the Excalibur exactly the way that I had, had envisioned it. Um, so everybody who wants that version, the version that I unboxed, 
that is the version that is going to be available with all of the changes that I mentioned that were a big, you know, like an absolute must for me. Um, so yeah, uh, that's essentially everything. I'm I'm 100% certain that you guys will have additional questions. Um, and please feel free to leave them down in the comments. Um, I will try to answer. Sergio will try to answer, you know, to the best of our knowledge. Um, but we, you know, we can't absolutely see the future. Um, so we might not have all of the answers. Um, a big one is going to be if we pre-order, when are these planned to deliver? And this is, again, this is part of doing these sort of condensed drops. Um, we want to deliver these things timely. So if you pre-order this knife right now, the plan is to have them deliver around Christmas time, around Christmas time, somewhere around there. Can't give you an exact date. Um, because it really depends on how many pre-orders. But the whole reasoning for this, the whole reason is to avoid um, a limited drop thing. We don't want to do the, you know, only this many available, get it right now. We're not, we're, we're not trying to do that. We're trying to avoid that. Um, so the whole goal is to get these to the people who want them instead of having everybody rush and fight each other and then be upset that they are gone. So we will do everything we can to make sure that this is, you know, something that we are uh, making available to people on a regular basis. Um, I realize I've already been talking for 16 and a half minutes. <laughs> that's crazy, really. It's been 16 and a half minutes. Um, but I, I think that's I think that's everything that I um, wanted to cover. So um, yeah, all of the versions that that um, we plan to drop, they're they're available for you guys to pick up. Get whatever version you want. Um, and expect to see new and exciting things regarding the Excalibur model in the future. Um, thank you so much for supporting uh, my channel and allowing me to bring my dream knife to the community. Um, I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on this knife and tell me what you think. Um, a few people, if you were at River's Edge Cutlery the day that Cole had it, um, a few people have actually gotten to handle it. And, you know, at least one other person who won uh, my second prototype has gotten to handle that. Um, but I, I really can't wait for this to get into the hands of the masses. I want people to experience this. I can't wait um, to uh, see this on social media. I can't wait to see people um, uploading and, and giving their ideas and thoughts uh, and reviewing this. Um, I think it'll be great, especially for the evolution of this knife. Uh, I'm just really, really excited about this. So thank you so much for supporting me and allowing me uh, to do this, to bring this project to the table. And thank you so much to Kumu Knives for actually being able to do what I wanted to do. Um, I, uh, I talked about this a long time ago in The Knife Guy, and I, say, and I said, um, I will never, ever do a, a knife. I'll never design one because there isn't a company who can deal with how particular I'm going to be, and there's no way they're going to be able to execute it in a way that results in a price tag that um, actually makes sense. Uh, and if you're familiar with the cost of doing an integral, especially the cost of Vanax and heat treating it properly and doing all of these elements, then you'll know why $400 is a really good price tag and a difficult price tag to get something like this too. Obviously, the budget version and the sandwich construction version will be far less expensive, right, for people who just don't care about the integral thing. And to those people, again, I just say, hey, no problem, just wait, it's coming down the road. Um, but I'm really happy that Kunwu was um, patient um, and willing to take the time to get it right. Uh, this was well over a year in production, all the prototypes and everything. Um, so Kunwu, I feel like, is the one and only. Uh, they are the one and only who could have done this, and they did it perfectly. In fact, they exceeded my expectations. So hats off to Sergio and Kunwu um, for, for dealing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Guys, that's going to be it. Again, links for this stuff down in the description. Or if you, for some reason, can't find it, it's kunwukrew.com. That's going to be it today, guys. Uh, hope you enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.